Hey everybody, welcome to NLC Live. My name is Neil, and uh, we're gonna be reading out of Philippians 4.19. Philippians 4.19 says this, and it's, it's one of those scriptures that you've probably heard a thousand times. We're going to dive into it a little bit, and um, we're going to we're going to see exactly what it means. Okay, the NIV version, New International Version, says, "And my God will supply all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus." Now that's pretty amazing. This is the Apostle Paul is actually talking to a group of people, the Philippians, and they have just given him food and they've given him clothing because he needed it, but they couldn't really give him a lot of money because they didn't have it. And in reply, that's when the Apostle Paul is saying this to them. And he's basically encouraging them, saying, listen, God's going to take care of all of your needs. And it's an amazing scripture that we hear a lot, especially when we're talking about finances. But I want to show you something. I'm going to read out of the Amplified version. The Amplified is like taking the Greek and the English together, and you'll see these brackets around it sometimes in the Amplified. And those brackets are, this is what that word is saying in addition to what we read in English. But here's what it says. And my God will liberally supply, in brackets, fill until full. He'll liberally supply. It means he's going to fill until you're full your every need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Now, this is a scripture that we can definitely hold on to when we are in need. And this is very important. So these uh, these Philippians that, that Paul is talking to, you know, and th this falls in those categories. Remember, we're asking ourselves these five questions. And is there a promise from God in here? Absolutely, yes. The promise from God is that he's going to supply all of your needs. And that's what's interesting. It says that he'll supply all of your needs, but there's, there's, there's both here. There's a promise that is broad, but it's also restricted. So is there a promise from God here? Yes. Is there a command to obey? I think there's a, there's a fence around what he's saying. God isn't saying that I'm going to take care of everything and give you whatever it is you need beyond your wildest dreams. He's saying that I will supply all of your needs. And that's where we get off track sometimes. So it's not going to go beyond what you need. God is going to give you exactly what you need. And the reason why he gives us this is not just for us, but so we can be a greater blessing. And that's why Paul was talking to these people like, hey, you've been an incredible blessing and God is going to provide for your needs so you can keep being a great blessing. And that's a promise from God in here. And it's one that you should be encouraged about. So pray this scripture over your life today. God, I thank you for basically all of heaven according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus that you're going to take care of my needs. Let me pray for you. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for how clear and how concise it is. And God, that it's not you, that you want to do this for us, from us, but this is for us, from you. And that you're a good God and that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father. And we love you a lot. Lord, I pray that you would bless people today so that they could be an even greater blessing to other people. God, don't let us be people who just hold on to what you've supplied us, but let us find somebody else who we can help as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh -huh.